What's up guys, I'm Arsene from RossPartech.com. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing well too. Now in this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about the possible Raspberry Pi 4 that's gonna be released. Not anytime soon, by the way. Now, uh, there are a lot of rumors out there and uh, some of the rumors are saying that the Raspberry Pi 4 won't be released until like 2018 or 2019. So that's pretty crazy, right? If you guys don't know, the Raspberry Pi 3 was released in February 2016. There are a lot of rumors out there and today I wanna to talk to you about my predictions and I wanna to talk to you about some of the rumors I've been hearing about the new Raspberry Pi 4. Right now, the Raspberry Pi 3 has only one gigabyte of RAM and has a quad core processor. And it's only $35, so, so right now the Raspberry Pi has a huge community, huge following, and it's pretty much the best uh, development board out there. It's only $35. The Raspberry Pi 3, as we speak, is only $35. And you could do a billion things with it. The sky's the limit with the Raspberry Pi 3. It's a favorite with tinkerers out there. Now I'm gonna give you guys my predictions of the new Raspberry Pi 4. I think it's gonna have four gigabytes of RAM and it's gonna have an eight core processor. Now, the reason I say that is because a lot of these new single board computers out there are coming out with eight core processors. I got one of them right here. This is the Hikey 960. It's not a cheap uh, board by any means, but it's got an octa-core processor. If you guys wanna know more about this board here, I'll leave a link to this in the description. If you guys wanna pick it up, I'll leave my Amazon link in the description. I did a few videos on this, more videos on the Hikey 960 to come if you guys are interested, but basically this is an Android development board. Now, boards like this are the reason why I wanted to do this video. Now, there's a rumor out there that uh, Google is gonna work with Raspberry Pi. Now, the main reason why I think Google is working with Raspberry Pi is because they have their own development board project, and there's a few boards that are supported. Now, one of the boards that are supported is the one I just showed you, the Hikey 960. This is an Android development board. This is one of the boards that are officially supported by Android. So what I think is gonna happen, I think that the Raspberry Pi 4, it's gonna have Android development support. It's gonna be able to load the Android operating system, and it's gonna be an official Android development board like the Hikey 960. If you guys agree with me, like the video. If you guys have any suggestions, leave it in the comment. I wanna hear all your guys' suggestions. I wanna hear all your guys' predictions. Now, I'm excited for the future of single board computers in general. It's not only the Raspberry Pi out there. They have a big chunk of uh, the audience right now, but there are a lot of boards like the Hikey 960 coming out. And uh, all the companies are basically sending me their development boards right now. Now, I'm pretty well known now in the single board development community. A lot of these companies are coming to me and uh, wanting to send me their board for review. So I'll have a lot of reviews coming. There are like 10 different single board companies that reached out to me and want to send me their board. So I'm really excited for that. I love single board computers, if you guys don't know. I love technology. My three major passions in life is technology, science, and history. I don't talk about a lot of those other topics because they don't fit in with this channel, but I do love technology. It's like my number one passion in life. Ever since I was a little kid, I tinkered with electronics and I always wanted to know how they worked. So if you guys like this video, please give it a like. There's gonna be more videos like this. I'm gonna do more videos on the possible Raspberry Pi 4 if I get any more news. Any, any news I hear, I'm gonna make a video on, on that topic. So again, I'm Rasim from RasmusBarTech.com and thank you guys for watching.